All right, guys, so I'm going to start a little project here and just kind of follow along. I'm going to click on the blank once from the new score tab. And again, don't double click this. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to hit this new change instruments here so that we can put something in there. Um, and you'll see the instruments organized in groups here. You can also just type in an instrument in the find. You can go through you know, orchestral or band instruments and it'll just pull them up in groupings for you like that. Um, but let's uh, pull up horn and do another horn part. So that I have uh, one for the top and one for the bottom. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to bring up two horn parts in F and we're going to click OK and you'll see that appear up here. We'll keep the time signature set to 4-4 We'll set a metronome mark to 106. Let's click here and let's go to major flat keys. And let's start in F in this case. We'll call it. Okay, I'll call it counterpoint one my first initial last name and we'll hit create all right and as this comes up I'm gonna move this up here and so uh, we want to test this to make sure we can get notes in it uh, you can just click on the first measure and then type on the keyboard and you'll be able to you know see if it's gonna work or not now if it for some reason it doesn't work you can go to the note input tab here and then over to the far left you'll see input devices click that and make sure that the input devices are checked and in particular now I've got a different instruments here at home but you'll be looking for the Roland I think it's the um, it's like the Juno D or something like that but you're you're going to look for that. If that's not checked, you want to make sure to check it. If it is, uh, then it could be a different problem. But once you check it, then what you want to do is tap on the keyboard. And you see this green light right here? That should activate. If it does, it means we're in good shape that it's working. If it doesn't, then the next place you may want to go is to the play tab right here. And under that, go to this configuration, again over to the far left, and click that, and make sure you're set up for General MIDI, either General MIDI Basic or General MIDI Basic number two. These sounds here, the Sibelius here, I've got a custom set set up, but these Sibelius seven sounds take up a ton of memory, and I really don't use them when I'm in the just in the sketch form of composing because they just bog down the computer and they bog down the program and they drive me nuts. So um, the, I, I'm just to, to forewarn you guys, I wouldn't use these. I would just set that configuration to this. So let's go back to the Home tab.